Hello, welcome to Natural Honesty. This will be a protective natural hairstyle updo tutorial on this hairstyle that I'm wearing right now, which is comprised of two strand individual twists and cornrows. And the reason why I call this a protective hairstyle is because the oldest part of my hair, which are the ends, I tucked away so I don't have to worry about uh, brushing, combing, causing damage to it, uh, sun, wind, heat, anything, because it is protective. And majority of the time, I will say 95% of the time, I do wear protective hairstyles. So if you watch any of my other videos, you will see other protective hairstyles. And natural hair is so versatile. I mean, you really don't have to wear the same style over and over again. You can add a twist to it from edgy to conservative hairstyles. But let me show you what this one looks like. Here's the front, top, left side, back. And right side. The weather in my local town is hot, so I just didn't want my hair to hang on my neck. So that's the reason for this particular hairstyle for this week, which I will wear this hairstyle for an entire seven days. And if you're saying that your hair doesn't hang on your neck, well, it doesn't necessarily have to. As long as you can cornrow your hair and you can two turn individual twist your hair, you can recreate this hairstyle if you like. Because I'm a firm believer that I can make my hairstyle last for an entire seven days and I can well moisturize it. I can make sure it has a nice shine and it's, uh, it's healthy because my goal is to obtain waist length hair. And I'm documented on YouTube if you would like to follow me, if you would like to maybe wear your hair similar to mine or just receive visual suggestions on different hairstyles that you can actually wear. And even if your hair is longer than mine or shorter than mine, if you can just, whatever style that I'm, if I have a bantu knot, if I have two strand twists, if I have cornrows, if you can cornrow or bantu knot or whatever style I have, if you can do that particular element with your hair, you can recreate this hairstyle uh, regardless what the length that you have. If you like this hairstyle or if you just want to see how this two strand twist with cornrow natural hair updo was constructed, please keep watching. The products used were Curl's Daughter's Tweed Moisturizing Sulfate Free Shampoo followed up with the Curl's Daughter's Tweed Moisturizing Hair Smoothie. Then my stylist used the Carrick Hairs Leave-In Conditioner and she moisturized my hair with the Carrick Hairs Buttercream and on my edges she used Edge Tamers to make sure that my edges were sleek and smooth as you can see in uh, more pictures of course. So this is what the hairstyle looks like and this is me at the hair salon. My hair has already been washed and conditioned, and she's already placed the character has leave-in conditioner in my hair. Now she's using a wide tooth comb to further make sure that I don't have any tangles or any knots in my hair because she's going to section off my hair down the middle, and then she's going to uh, blow dry my hair on a cool setting. And here she is actually lightly moisturizing my scalp with the buttercream from Caracare. And if you care to know, it has a pH balance of 5.5 and the jar claims this is an everyday moisturizer. It is very moisturizing for my hair and I love this water-based moisturizer. So she's already sectioned off the front of my hair. As you can see right here, uh, while looking at this uh, video, it'll be on the left, but it's actually on the right where she uh, uh, sectioned off where she's gonna do the two strand individual twist, but she's gonna do that last. So right now she's making sure that my parts are straight when she's getting ready to construct every last corner roll that is comprised in this hairstyle. So she is using a rat tail comb, but she's using the rat tail comb that has a metal end to it to make sure that my parts stay very straight and easy to create. Because she has noticed if she used the rat tail comb that has the plastic uh, rat tail end of it, it, it's a little difficult to create smaller parts in her opinion. So she uses the metal clip. So what she does on each one of my individual cornrows that she constructs, she places a little bit of the edge tamer on the beginning of my hair and then on my scalp actually. Uh, when she's first getting ready to construct the corn roll. And then if she's corn rolling my hair back, she's making sure her fingers are very close together. So every last loop of the corn roll is very close together to make a firm uh, corn roll to, to make sure that it will last the entire seven days because I wear my hairstyles for the entire seven days. So here she is, she's finished with the corn roll 
and the cornrow actually ends up making a plait, and she just further uh, plaits it all the way. She doesn't plait it all the way to the end, but if you choose to, you definitely can. I I think her thought pattern was she's just gonna uh, fold the hair over and use a hairpin to const uh, to com complete the hairstyle. So that's the reason why she didn't cornrow it all the way to the uh, braid it all the way to the end. So she's going to do the same technique over and over and over again. I did not count how many cornrows that I do have on my hair. I know there is a lot because she really took her time to construct this particular hairstyle. But she's going to do the same thing over and over again. Right there you saw that she applied the Cara Cara's um, Edge Tamer. And she's uh, making sure that my parts are very straight. Because on this particular hairstyle, if you look at your hairstyle or anyone else looks at your hairstyle, they would notice if you're... You know, if your parts are crooked or they're not as straight as they can be. Because I really believe a straight part for a cornrow really complements the hairstyle. So she's doing the same technique over and over again. So she grabbed a, uh, the rat tail comb. She made a part, make sure that it's as straight as she could get it. And then she's cornrolling back. And when she's cornrolling, when she's cornrolling my hair, she's not pulling too tight. But she is pulling, it's not, I can't even say pulling, she is um, firmly corn rolling my hair to ensure that the corn roll stays it uh it lasts for the entire seven days but i can tell you i did not leave the hair, hair salon with bumps or scars or scabs or a headache or anything so you can uh construct corn rolls without you know really damaging your hair because i have i have viewed other individuals who have corn rolls extremely too tight where you can see bumps you can see a redness um and i really think uh you're doing your hair a dis disservice if you braid that tight because it could lead to hair breakage and my goal and hopefully your goal is as well is to keep the hair that's on your head there and grow to a maximum length that you can achieve and again my goal is to reach healthy waistland hair and i really think proper uh, maintenance uh, with patience and dedication um, are contributing factors on growing your hair and those are the tactics that I live by when I'm trying to uh, go to the hair salon and make sure my hairstyle is you know construct a hairstyle that I really think is healthy and it, it will bring benefits more so than harm to my hair so she's doing the same technique over and over again she's grabbing She's uh, sectioning off the little, uh, she's sectioning off the hair with the rat tail comb. When I section it off, she's uh, parting the hair with the rat tail comb to create the cornrows. And she's sectioning, uh, she's placing her clips on the hair that she's not working on at that particular time to make sure it doesn't interfere with the cornrows that she's constructing down. Down because I know that could be a frustration like a, you have your part straight and then straight hair is tried to get in the way of that particular corn roll where that it shouldn't be. So make sure if you're doing corn corn rolls on your hair, make sure you have clips or um clips or uh, pins that can push the hair that you're not working on out of your way. So with natural hair, I can tell you if you if you're attempting this hairstyle for the first time, practice makes perfect for the simple fact is very repetitious. Because uh, she's doing the same technique over and over again to construct the cornrow to make sure that uh, the hairstyle looks sleek, it looks neat. So she's taking her time and she's doing the same, like I said, the same technique over and over again. Now she's in the back of my head and uh, what she's doing is uh, she's grabbing a little bit of the hair. She's making sure that her finger stays close together. As she's constructing the cornrow to make sure it looks neat and uniform um, and one of the key factors that I have found with natural hair that patience 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 is a key factor is you don't want to rush on your hair you don't you don't want to like maybe potentially damage your hair by snatching it too uh, hard or, or making the parts extremely too big just because you are short on time so if you only have maybe an hour to do your hair, if you want to construct this hairstyle, I say please wait till you have more time for your particular hairstyle because, again, I don't actually do my hair. I mean, it's not that I can't. It's just I found a great hairstylist that 
takes her time. She's patient. She listens to my concern. We, we have a, a back and forth conversation on the benefits of my hair to make my hair grow because her motto, which I absolutely love, she's like, if you don't look good, then I don't look good. So I really love that attitude that she has going forward when she's constructing my hairstyle because if I'm on the, if I'm like out and about and someone asks, well, who did your hair? Well, I'm going to tell them my hairstylist name and the hair salon if they want to go there. But if my hair is just messed up, I don't really think they will give her a phone call. So I can say, I did one one time I did leave that hair salon and my hairstyle did not look great. It was a, uh, a braid out. It's just because we uh, she used too much product. And it was a learning experience, but I'm the one who brought the product to her. And what I did is I just wore a puff for an entire week because she did everything that she needed to do. She braided my hair up just fine, but when she unraveled it, it just really didn't look good. But I can just say just one time I left the hair salon and my hairstyle didn't look good. And it's just because of the product that I brought. It was over moisturizing, but uh, that's another video. If you would like to see that video, it's actually on YouTube if you care to look at it. But I have learned from uh, the mistake of putting too much product on my hair. I have not attempted to do another braid out. I have her to do another braid out on my hair. I will later on, maybe, if I choose. I, I think a braid out every day, I will have to do something to it. I like these uh, hairstyles that stay put for seven days. I don't have to do anything to it other than moisturize it, put some oil on it, and tie it up, make sure it's protected. So she's back on the right side and she's finishing up the last corn row to construct this particular hairstyle. And then she's gonna proceed to create the two strand individual twist in the front of my hair. So what she's gonna do, she's not gonna make the two strand individual twist too small. She's gonna make a medium size. So what she's gonna do is she used her rat tail comb on the metal end to create the part. And what she did, she braided a, a braided some of the hair and then she proceeded to do the two strand individual twist. I know one of my subscribers, they gave me a great, this great suggestion because I was concerned that my two strand individual twist just was not lasting. Uh, looking nice for the entire seven days. I did take, uh, I have utilized this technique. Well, my hairstylist has utilized this technique before braiding a little and then two strand twist at the end and it was great for an entire seven days it looked great i really did not need to actually go to the hair salon to get it redone but my regimen is to give my make sure that my hair is washed deep conditioned and styled on a weekly basis to maintain my my scalp to be cleansed because i really believe if you have a clean a scalp it and you may positively stimulate your scalp because i do give myself scalp massages once a day I don't do it as long as I need to. I, I do it for about five minutes, but I'm all about healthy hair and making sure that my hair grows to the optimum lift. So here she is. She's going to do the same technique for the entire section of the front that is going to be two strand individual twists. And then again, natural hair is so repetitive. So if you're attempting this hairstyle for the first time and you don't, you know, like the results, I tell you, practice, practice, practice. And right there where you saw the product that she used on my hair, she is using the Care Care's Buttercream, which is the everyday moisturizer. It has shea butter in it, it has cocoa butter, it's ha it has a lot of great uh, oils in it, and it hydrates my hair very well. I can tell you, I do not have any issues with dryness or itchy scalp. Um, it's not just because of the product. Uh, some people believe that, oh, the product is just going to make sure that my hair is very hydrated, which it, it helps. But my suggestion is to make sure that you stay hydrated as well. Drink as much water as you can. If you can drink eight ounces of, eight, eight ounces uh, glass, eight, eight ounce cups of water every day is so beneficial because you want to hydrate from the inside as well on, on for products as well. But that just a little side note. So all of my two strand individual twists has been constructed and all she's doing is grabbing my hair and folding it over each other and she is using a hair pin and not a bobby pin and on each one of her hair pins it has a protective coating on it for the simple fact we do not want to snag my hair to cause any damage so that is what she's doing she's uh grabbing uh small sections of the hair that's uh, that's still up 
uh, uh, their braids that's still up and there's the two strand individual twist that she has to comprise to the side swoop smash two strand individual twist flat piece for this particular hairstyle. So that is actually what she's doing. She's just twisting the hair over and over again. And that is another technique that yields to the word of protective hairstyle. Because my ends are going to be covered. They're going to be protected. And they're not going to be out in the elements because she's twisting it down and she's securing it with a hair pin. And if you don't like hair pins, if you feel like your hair won't hold with hair pins, uh, feel free to use bobby pins because the bobby pins have a closer... Is bobby pins are more what am I trying to say? Bobby pins are more closely uh the goodness the the bobby pins uh is more closely together. So uh, if you feel like it, uh, your hair be more secure with the bobby pin, then by all means means use a bobby pin. And if you want to, you can actually accent this hair with hair accessories if you wanted to. Like you could put like a small flower in it if you like um me personally i'm just not going to put a flower in my hair because i just think the hairstyle is fine just the way it is so she's almost finished with this particular hairstyle and she's uh just still uh twisting the hair around each other she's going to use the hair pin to, se to secure the hairstyle and i just tell you i love this particular hairstyle for the simple fact it's very it's it's simple because I, I have worn this hairstyle for one day. So last night, all I did was wrap my hair up with a satin scarf. And this morning, my hair was not dry at all. So I did spritz my hair lightly with an oil combination of sweet almond oil and jojoba oil. And it is just fine. So, And it still looks nice uh, today. And if you watched the first part of this video when I was explaining this hairstyle, this was actually the second day. So that's what my hair looks like currently uh, as you watch this video so uh, she's doing the same technique grabbing a little section of hair folding it over each other and using a hairpin to secure it to make sure the hairstyle looks nice and if you could just tell how patient she is she's not she's not rushing on my hair so if you do your hair yourself just again allow time for your hair and patience and just don't snack your snag your hair or try to rip your hair out just because I just feel like if you took the time to grow your hair, what about preserving the hair instead of just having it on the floor? So that's my own little side note to this particular hairstyle. So here she's wrapping it up and she's almost finished. And this is a two strand twist with cornrows updo natural hairstyle. I really think this is a very nice hairstyle. You can use this going uh, to work. You can use this going if you want to go out for an event. I really like this hairstyle and I hope you do too. So thank you so much for watching Natural Lost's channel. If you like, please leave a comment in the box below. Thank you and have a great day.